Northern California is home to the largest trees in the world, coastal redwoods. What a privilege to be able to walk in this incredible forest. Redwoods are an ancient type of tree. They existed alongside the dinosaurs and before most other tree species we see today evolved. They are the tallest trees on earth. Some grow twice the size of other tree species. Redwoods also grow to be old. Some of these trees were seedlings hundreds of years before Columbus set sail. And they only grow in one place on earth, the Pacific Northwest of the United States. Could climate change affect these ancient trees? Of course, it can affect any living thing on the planet. Let's look at how. These trees live along the Pacific coast of the United States, and they are immense. They can weigh more than a million pounds when fully grown. Can you imagine how much water these giant trees drink? Well, here's the interesting part. They grow the most in summer here when temperatures are higher, but that also happens to be the time of the year when this part of the Pacific coast gets almost no rain. So how can these huge organisms get the water they need to live? To answer that, take a look at this cool glass of ice lemonade that I'm drinking on a warm summer day. Mm. You see the droplets on the outside of the glass? They didn't come from inside the glass. Warm summer air condenses on the cool glass. And when it condenses, the droplets form. The droplets here are from the air, not from inside the glass. And look, you can drink them. And that is exactly how the California redwoods get a lot of their water. Here, warm air from the land meets cool ocean water, and the water in the air condenses. It forms the famous fog that this area is known for. Most trees get their water from the roots in the ground. These trees do that, but have evolved a way to also drink the fog which condenses on or near their needles. They drink from the air as well as the ground. They also drip water, which condenses on them, down to the ground to help nourish younger trees. So how could climate change affect these trees? If the ocean gets warmer, will the fog still form? Or perhaps it will and perhaps it won't. Perhaps it will in some of these areas where the trees grow, and it won't in others. We simply don't know. If the area continues to get fog, perhaps the trees will be okay. If the fog doesn't form, the rain alone here will not support these immense trees, and this ancient and beautiful forest could die. The risk is there, the risk is real, and the decision is ours to make. Right now, climate change is like an experiment that we are running on the planet we live on. We don't always know what the outcome will be, and by the time we find out, it may be too late for trees like these redwoods.